Today, September 7, 2020, is the Monday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Intentions for 12.15 p.m. Online Holy Mass. Petitions 
for the complete healing and fast recovery of Father George Militante, Father Fel Felix Verlan, Father Leonard Robert Macmanus, Arnold Piner, Jacinta Patalinghug, Walter Dejos, Francis Mark Bukiron, Nonoy and Bernadette Irizari, Cynthia Chu and Mercado families, Ephraim Sawal and Nelly Arellano. For the safety of all the teachers, staff, and pupils of Punta Princess Elementary School and all schools of Cebu City Division for the school year 2020-2021. For the protection, deliverance, enlightenment, success, and good health of Dr. Roslia Alfaro, Engineer Mary Ann Pearl Alfaro, Mrs. Peblia Alfaro, and all their employees, Wagas and Demapi families, Nilda Castello, Proisner family, Eileen, Elizar, Christian Ellie, Clifford Ellie, Mary Cabochan, and Carol Cabochan, Lua Kian. Irvin Kenneth Bienvenido, Noel Ko, Haka Kabatingan, and Lim families. For the intentions of the members of Santo Nino devotees of Southern California and Maria Divina Andrina. For the safety, protection, and healing of all frontliners in the Philippines. For the protection, safety, and spiritual strength of the members of the CIT High School Batch 72. Thanksgiving for all the graces received by the families of Arnold Piner, Magzine Lord Abadia, Nalwin Castro, Mary Rose Rovella del Campo, Marlu Castro, Marlu Castro Rovella, Josephine Castro, Miguel Castro, Castro Clan, Nadal and Destua families, Lourdes Segundino, Pura Anne Marie, Raymond John Allen, Job and Benedict, Mrs. Pebli Alfaro, Engineer Mary Ann Pearl Alfaro, Doctora Rosley Alfaro and family, Proisner family, Sigmund family, Bullio family, Terdes family, Reynes family, Pablo Tabasa families, Boy and Joy Haka. For the birthday of Marie Angelica Mingao and Herman Mirafuentes. For the 20th birthday of Peter Paul Alahas. For, for the 13th birthday of Catherine Marie Miro. For the 25th wedding anniversary of Glenn and Vilma. For all the graces received by the members of the CIT High School Batch 72. For the repose, for the eternal repose of the following souls. Antonio, Basilisa, Neil, John, Candelaria, Alex, Ryan, Alvin, Lani, Leo, Andres Sr. and Jr., Tiburcia, Efren, Innocente, Concepcion, Estanislao, William, Manuel, Gloria, Joe, Gigi, Lucas, Trinidad, Crescencia, Elma, Pedro Sr. Jr., Felix, Nicolasa, Alfreda, Jose, Benjamin, Silvestra, Francisco, Genoveva, Jesus, Andrew Arturo Sr., Alfredo Sr., Lamberto Sr., Innocencia Marie, Romeo, Carmen, Manuel, Juicy, Josefina, Lucas, Grace, and La Lucha. Renato, Rosalia, David, Joseph, Veronidia, Emilio, Tabar, Alea, Fabular, Melesio Sr., Gorgonia, Leandro, Cerila, Caetano, Canuto, Adriana, Romualdo, Nicanora Sr., Rene, Luis, Argentina, Prosperos, Blasilda, Pedro, Luisita Sr., Joe Art, Harris, Felicidad, Felicidad, Jesus, Agapito, Luisa, Isabel, Timoteo, Fe, Antonia, Milagros, Benito, Maria Luz, Pedro Aquilino, Macario, Mario Honorato, Lucy, Alex, Eva, Edita, Hermogena, Tomas, Eddie, Anunciacion, Epifania, Josefina, Remedios, Gregorio, Pasita, Roberto, Saturnina, Julian, Ernesto, Esperanza, Clemencia, Virgilio, Fernanda, Eugenio, Antonio, Aleila, Anesita, Rosalia, Augusto, Jovi, Rosalinda, Graciela, Salvatore, Lito, Alejandrino, Anna Lee, Father Ben Macahis, SVD, Ignacio Sr. and Jr., Celestina, Ignacio, Ramoncito, Edgardo, Romulo Sr., Tomas, Felicidad, Jose, Hermine, Hilda, Yolanda, Oscar, Nikki, Ben Sr., Socorro, Manuelita, Daniel, Visitacion, Lorenzo, Victoria, Susana, Anita, and Lolita, Ermac, Melchor, and Privitim, Primitiva Ocampo, Lourdes and Bel Sofia Ordoña, Melesio Redoble Sr., Nelson Sanoy, Nolan Tapales, Elpidio Agravante, Klaus Dieter, Estanislao, Max and Alfreda, Hannah Lor and Willie, Albert and Adelheid, Marcelo, Jennifer, Sunny, Sergio Visitacion, 
Hilario Premio Hospicio, Josefina Ferdinand Camila Moises Expedita, Encarnacion Maria Gina Marvin Pedro Roland, Jose Eugenio Asuncion Mamerto Narciso, Robinson Virgilia Felipa Anesita, Bernadita Gary Edith Holy, Poor Abandoned Forgotten Souls. Dominador Sr. Digma Dominador Jr. Rafaela Vivencio, Francisco Virgilio Pablo Filomeno Marcelino, Maria Dolores Vicente Lourdes Rezolino, Fortunato es Eseo, Colas Eseo Lástico Lolita Florentino, Ramon Brigida Magdalena Pacienza, John Ray Carol Salvador Braulia, Marcelina Efedencio, Eugenio Sofronio, Iluminada Lolita Asuncion, Eloida Olderico Sr., Antonio Maria Sacay, Maria Capote, Opro Mantua, Rebecca Lingana y Silveria, Fernando Higino, Alberto Brittany Jen, Vladimir Claire Leonora, Baldomera Martin Rosario, Diego Sr., Flor de Luna, Catalino, Juana, Marcosa, Luis, Noni, Alere, Maria, Bareda, Lilia, Cortez, Nora, Cruz, Gregoria, Dampok, Amalia, Quirong, Patrocinio, Mendoza, Isabelita, Napala, Esther, Soque, Ladef, Tocmo, Godofredo, and Yoscoro, Kapangpangan, Juan and Yefronia Kapangpangan, Caridad Formoso, Jonathan Sotes, Gina Kapangpangan, Rufina Bartolaba, Telma Caburnay, May Lynn Sagario, Arturo Sr., Marcelina, Father Jose Bosch, Sebastian, Esther, Boyce, Dewey, William Vicente Caridad, Rudy Vicario, Anatalio, Anastasio, Pastor Dolores, Herminio, Jean, Marino, Verina, Suping, Liber, Abet, Perla Bonita Ditas, James Constancio Lida, Zenzen Gerardo Sorin Canoto, Albert Terdes Jesus Sr., Erlinda Amparo, Marvin Melesia Emanuel, Maria Corazon, Rebecca Saturnino, Ronald Rosal, Engineer, Cornelio Embradora Jr., Charlita Jose, Andrea Felicitas Bartolome, Mercedita Tarciso, Melinda Gonzalo, Fritz, Jennifer, Elisa, Pablo, Iluminado, Pablo, Catalino, Pablo, Julian Cotillar, Apolonia Cotillar, Lorenza Tabasa, Heraclio Tabasa, Esperanza, Manuel, Reinaldo, Candida, Carmelita, Tia Ischiat, Ambrosio Benigno, Bacalso Senior, Remedios Lape, Bacalso, Flavia Ernesto Zacarias Asuncion, Rolly Libradilla, Paulina Anesitas, Julio Julian, John Michael Yontina, Pablo Esmeralda Segundino, Patrick Dali Sani, Lucia Irwin Santiago, Gloria Sumalino, Leonides Nadal, Jerónimo Edlidia Destua, Baldomero Nadal Jr., Antonio Ayala, Esperanza Jose Isabel Vergilio, Exaltacion Teresita Josefa, Agustin Catalino Imaculada, Iluminado Herminia Borja, Omi Cruz, Ponchonita Nadal, Marciano Salajeron Sr., Leonora Salajeron, Juanito Nadal, Cesar Carbonilla, Evelyn Pilar, Verna Soberano, Constancio Pepito, Jean Seifert, Rodolfo Lorenzo, Alberto Sr., Sabina Telma Herlan, Demetrio Sr., Bandilla Cometa, Erlinda Edilberto, Florencia Cabatingan, Weda Nif, Elena Oping, Victor Bertin, Gorio Enis, Henio Tinay, Merto Rita Lalucha, Enigo Sr., Angeline Jesus, Florencia Bart, Virgie, Mike Boy, Jingle Donato, Angelina, Paulina, Demetrio, Remedios Uy, and Renato Uy, Marnie Ayapana, for the eternal rest of Catalino and Lucita Cabatingan. Death anniversary of Leon Corda, Rogelio Guerra, Remigio Pareja, and Tomas Copag. For all departed souls of the members of the CIT High School Batch 72. For all souls in purgatory, batch mates of class PPES Batch 1975 for the departed members of the MPHS Batch 69, departed priests and religious, the forgotten ones, and those who died of COVID-19. Let us now prepare ourselves for the celebration of the Holy Eucharist.
please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us this noontime to celebrate this Eucharist. As we thank God for His many blessings and lift up to Him our intentions, we also pray for the eternal rest of Ida Vergara on her death, fourth death anniversary. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is widely reported that there is immorality among you, an immorality of a kind not found even among pagans, a man living with his father's wife. And you are inflated with pride. Should you not rather have been sorrowful? The one who did this deed should expel from your midst. I, for my part, although absent in body, but present in spirit, have already, as if present, pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus, when you have gathered together, and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate. Do you not know 
that a little yeast leavens all the dough. Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a flesh, a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. Response. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Response. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exalt forever. Protect them, that you may be the joy of those who love your name. Response. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught there and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath, so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with a withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to him, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath? rather than to do evil, to save life rather than destroy it. Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We continue walking with Jesus following the footsteps of St. Luke. Last week, we saw how Jesus taught with authority and managed to answer smartly certain questions raised by religious authorities. Today, we see Jesus continuing his public ministry among the people, but this time being monitored more closely by the Pharisees. It was again the Sabbath day, which was supposed to be a holy day of rest from work. And Jesus, while teaching inside the synagogue, saw someone there among the participants whose hand was withered. His, ha his heart was immediately moved to pity for him. And so, despite the danger of being a victim of criticism or gossip by those in authority, Jesus chose to do what is best for the person with disability. 
he made him stretch out his hand, and right there and then, he was cured. The man's hand was restored to the amazement of many, except, unfortunately, the Pharisees. Instead of rejoicing at the miraculous cure, those Pharisees chose to see the healing done by Jesus as a violation of the law which deserves a penalty or a just punishment. Blinded by their pride and insecurity, they failed to see God, the author of the Sabbath law, to be the same God at work in Jesus. If we are to reflect on this particular gospel passage, this particular scene in the public ministry of Jesus, what could God be telling us today? Are we at times like Pharisees, those Pharisees, who see only the faults of others and never the many good things they have been doing? Have we become fault finders or pessimists to the extent that all we do is to look for the slightest mistakes or faults of those we live or work with? Or maybe we are so timid, so paralyzed, just like the man with a withered hand, that we cannot do the good we are supposed to do because of what other people might say. Jesus, in the gospel today, showed to us that he is really someone anointed by the Spirit, not only to proclaim the good news of God's kingdom, but also to make people feel that God's loving presence is indeed at hand and at work among the people who are suffering. He showed us that the law of love is supreme. And he showed us that the same Spirit can empower us with the gift of fortitude so that Despite the danger of being criticized by narrow-minded people, we may continue to go out of our way and serve those in need for the glory of the Father. This pandemic that does not seem to end is giving us many opportunities to follow Jesus along the same path. Let us follow Jesus faithfully, despite the obstacles that we will have to face, and despite the many criticisms we might hear from others. May this Eucharist grant us the grace of focusing on what is really good, despite the many errors and evils we see around. May this Eucharist also empower us to persevere in doing God's will, despite the obstacles we might meet along the way. God is good. Sobra, sobra, sobra. Please all stand. For us Christians, there is no higher law than the gospel command of loving God and neighbor. Let us affirm this belief as we pray for the needs of each member of the church. As we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may always be renewed and purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That those in authority may be guided by wisdom when making decisions and setting priorities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That our worship may reflect our sincerity and dedication to the humble service of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring hope to the despairing and comfort to the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you search our hearts and you know our innermost thoughts. Inspire us. Inspire our hearts for more sincere worship and empower our hands for more willing service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him we, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Empowered by the same Spirit that empowered Jesus to do good, let us now call on God our Father as Jesus taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are now invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. Please be seated for a while. To maintain physical distancing, we will receive Holy Communion by pews or by robes. Wait for the usherettes to instruct you when it is your turn. They will guide you where to stand and how to return to your seats. The yellow and gray markings on the floor will serve as your guide. Thank you for your cooperation as always. In your 
your presence I regain my confidence With your mercy I can carry on I know you're here alive in our communion Amazing love becoming With Mary here beside me, I am here to praise my God. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please all kneel. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of the virus and to save us from our fears. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady, Health of the Sick. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. St. Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. St. Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud, Pray for us. St. John Bosco, Pray for us. Please be seated. To maintain physical distancing on our way out, we have two exits. Those seated at the left will use the left exit. Those seated at the right will use the right exit. We will go out of the church by pew or by row. After the final blessing, please be seated and wait for the usherettes to instruct you 
when it is your turn. The red markings on the floor will serve as your guide to the exit. Thank you for your cooperation as always. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this Eucharist. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.